Hello everybody and welcome to the beautiful surroundings of the centre of one of Europe's most iconic cities, Paris. We're here of course for the Qatar Airways Paris E-Prix this weekend and as some of you will now know, it's become a regular feature of every uh, Formula E event. Jack Nichols, Nicky Shields and myself have started a bit of an in-house competition to try and predict the outcome of each event and regular viewers will know that we've been less than successful so far um, but I'm here to bring you the results from last time out in Monaco. Now Jack wasn't able to be with us last time so he was replaced by Antonio Felix da Costa in the lovely setting on the back of a yacht in the Monaco harbour. Did very very well in terms of his personality, his jokes, he was great fun. In terms of his results though, not so great and I've got them here. Uh, Nicky and Antonio both scored a measly single point throughout that whole event to all the various predictions. And I'm happy to say that I absolutely wiped the floor with them with an impressive two. <laughs> um, so a very low scoring, low scoring event, but two points for me and one for each of them, which is actually all we've scored so far this season, puts me in the lead. Um, so the so-called experts of Formula E are being absolutely wiped away by you guys at home because I'm delighted to say that you've been getting involved. We really appreciate all the comments that you've made, all your predictions. And I have some results from you guys from last week, because quite impressively, Tom Bryan, hello to you, you scored four points. That's pretty good going. You're leading the fan leaderboard, if you like, from Monaco. Uh, Banter Racing, top name, you guys scored three points. Uh, Rebound 11, also three points. Mr. Ruben, three points as well. And lots of people equaling me on two points. So well done to you all. That was a really good effort. Um, the driver of the day, just so you know, voted for by a panel of independent journalists after each EPRI. Uh, last time out it was Heidfeld for that uh, impressive podium. I think he did a very, very good job. So not surprisingly, he got that driver of the day. I think the fact that we didn't score very highly actually highlights how unpredictable a race it was. Um, you know, yes, Buemi won the race, but some of those other uh, predictions that we have to make were really hard to, to get right, as, we, as we're now proving. Um, but anyway, let's move on to the Qatar Airways Paris E-Prix, a very different circuit, of course. And because this is a back-to-back -back race, it's a frantic turnaround for not just the teams, but all the media. And Jack and Nicky are also very, very busy, but I managed to catch a quick word with them uh, last night, grab a little window to get their predictions ahead of this weekend. We should be seeing those on the screen right now. Uh, so we'll see how we all get on, of course, uh, after the race on Saturday. Um, but once again, I want you guys to get involved because the things we're looking for are, first of all, the, uh, we need to find the Julius Baer pole position winner. So the guy that gets pole position, you'll score one point if you get that right. Then we move on to the race. We're looking for the top three, the podium finishers. Now the rules slightly change from Monaco onwards in that we don't necessarily need to get them all in the right order to score. So if you get any of the podium finishers in any order, you will score one point for each. There'll be a bonus two points if you manage to get them all right in the correct order. And nobody's managed to do that yet, so good luck with that. Uh, then we move on to the Visa Fastest Lap Award. So the fastest lap of the race, if you can predict who that is, there's another point at stake. And finally, the driver of the day from here in Paris. Again, we'll be judged by a panel of journalists, but we want to hear what you think. Another point for getting that one right. So best of luck to you all. We really appreciate you keeping those comments coming in. It really does make this a lot of fun. I read through them all. It keeps me very entertained, if nothing else. So please keep them coming in and enjoy the race on Saturday afternoon.